speaking to Naveen Kumar, who, despite being unemployed for more than a year, remained positive and proactive in his search for a new job. Hello, Naveen. Hi, Vena. So, let's start with your career journey. Sure. Tell me briefly about that. Um, well, I think the start was I uh, was with a big MNC, a US company, for almost 10 years, uh, starting from 2007. And uh, in the middle of 2016, I got retrenched. Did you see that coming? No. Um, they are known for retrenchment exercises, which big companies are known for, but uh, I didn't expect I would be one of them. Yeah. Okay. So that, that came as a surprise. Bring me back to the day when it happened. How did you feel? Shocked. Uh, I had a conference call with my boss who's based in Hong Kong, and uh, he mentioned that they decided to let me go, which um, for a moment I just felt everything went quiet and uh, whatever he was saying, uh, just didn't register. He was just going on and on and nothing registered. <clears throat> it was just, uh, I was just staring blankly on the screen. It was just, I had very hard to explain. It was just something that I didn't expect to happen, maybe to me. Did you feel angry? Of course. I feel frustrated, angry. It felt very sad. It's like somebody telling you that you're not good enough. Or I don't need you anymore. What was the first thing that you do? Well, the first thing I did was I had to uh, go down to the office and settle everything. So they gave me a one week uh, grace period. Um, to clear everything off. How long did you remain <laughs> angry for? Uh, you can't stay angry. So uh, within two days or three days, I just started, started looking for a job. How many interviews in total do you recall going through in that one year? I think I did at least about three to five hundred applications. Um, Interview-wise, probably maybe about 50. Were you willing to take a pay cut in your job search? I worked out my numbers. I knew I needed this much to survive and maybe save a tiny little bit, but as long as I could survive. So yeah, I took a pay cut. Some people may not be willing to take a pay cut because they feel that they are worth that amount of money. Right. That wasn't a problem to you? If you're retrenched for a month, you get a job. Yeah, so, so no problem. As I say, you have to tweak the situation for yourself. But I was out of a job for a year. So apart from that, what other low points did you go to? For example, <clears throat> buying something from the supermarket and hoping that it will last you for as long as possible. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about that. Looking at your finances every month, I guess that was the low point because you see money going out. I had a little bit of savings, but you see money going out, I said, this is always, you, know, you get a salary, you pay your bills, and then, okay, ta -da. but then you see money going out and nothing coming in. That was, that was worrying. Now, I have never been retrenched, so I cannot say how that feels. So what would you say to someone? I mean, they, they could be retrenched and surrounded by loved ones, but I know yep. that it's a lonely feeling. It's got to be. Yes. What would you say to them? You need to work it out on your own. People will come and give advice to you. Sure, that's, you know, being friends and family, that's what everyone does. Um, but you need to process it on your own, at your own pace, at your own time. So if you need to go on a holiday and just sit somewhere and just think, go and do that. If you need to go and cry, go do that. If you need to go and punch a bag, go do that. What was your turning point in your job search? So I was doing a lot of research and I came across this program um, that wanted to help PMETs, PMETs, mm -hmm. 40 and above. And uh, basically what you're trying to do is to say, okay, if you can get a job, um, you'll be able to subsidize the salary by the employer. So I thought, okay, this is a great opportunity for me to switch. You yeah. found out about the career support program. Yeah. You went to a potential employer yeah. and said that, look, hire me on this program. Yeah. And you got the job. Uh, yes, I did get the job. Tell me how the career support program works. The career support program supports companies, startups and SMEs. Um, by enabling them to be able to afford to hire experienced people. Typically, small companies don't have the budget to you know, hire somebody who has been a 15-year veteran or 20-year veteran. So through the program, they can get the opportunity to hire them. You joined a new company, which is a startup, which yep. is very different yes. from an MSC that you came from. Yep. What was the biggest challenge when you started? Because challenge is basically, uh, you have to do everything. So from wiping the table to sweeping the floor to taking care of. Because I'm the only senior person in the office in Singapore. My boss runs around between Germany and Singapore. The rest are all below 30. Um, MNCs are very structured. You're supposed to do this, you do this, that's it. You pass it on to somebody else, it continues. Here is different, you have to do everything. Um, and there are a lot of youngsters. So they are unaware of the bigger picture. So you, I have to understand the bigger picture. I need to motivate them to do the smaller work in order to achieve the bigger picture. So, uh, quite interesting. What was the most challenging thing that you had to do to adapt? I would like to think I'm a bit of a handyman, but I'm actually, actually I'm not. So, um, there's, it's a um, very manual work. We do assembly of uh, electric scooters in Singapore. So, there's a lot of manual work. 
I'm a very IT process oriented guy. So when you ask me, when you give me a screwdriver, I could probably use it, but then you need to find out what goes where and there's a lot of drilling work, which was the first thing for me. Um, I don't need to do it, but I wanted to learn how to do it. So in that sense, getting a new skill set. That was, it was a challenge, but it was also an, an interesting experience. Thank you so much for your sharing. What an incredible story of grit and tenacity shared by Naveen.